Boom. I heard it. Gives you that audible beat, lets you know it connected. It even vibrates. Say, 2007 Nissan Maxima. Yeah. Do a health report on that one. See what comes up. The health report's not a bad, you know, it's not bad if that's what you're using this scanner for, getting all the, you know, history if you're actually using it to save information and send to the customers. You know, for me, I personally wouldn't be using this scanner to get that kind of information. Um, I got the Varus directly hooked to the Wi-Fi printer and just print it out. But it's a nice feature to have. And then being able to turn it off, looks like this one's got some trans codes in it. Let it run through the modules and then we'll, we'll check those trans codes. When does Nissan not have trans codes? You can see the progress bar load in there at the top. And then scroll down. So go to, yeah. You got some seven engine speed sensor. Oh, no, I should have yeah, Probably a valve issue. P725, P026. Well, now that I know this, I'll uh, bring it to the customer's attention. This one was just in here for some suspension work with no lights on the dash, but I'll definitely let him know this. Maybe I'll email him this health report, but easy stuff. Got two more to go. We'll see if we can find a Honda for the day and uh, do a German car. We got full coverage. Haven't had an issue yet. We're batting uh, 0 for 3 here. Good stuff. Definitely dig it. Just took them. Yeah. There's a search code there. Brings you straight to Google. Yeah. Do a quick Google search on it. Brings up information because I got it hooked to the Wi Fi. Yeah. And it's just all pertaining to that one code. Right. Good stuff, man. You get quick information on the fly through Google. Nice. You can show pictures. Go back to the engine right. one. Or the speed sensor. Yeah. Nice. Good stuff. A lot of great features on this one, guys. All right, guys. Well, it got a little busy today. I didn't get a chance to uh, hook this up to a few other cars like I would have liked to, but I got it. You know, wrap this one up, give you my thoughts, quick hands on. You guys see, I had no problems linking to the Ford, linking to that Volvo, linking to the uh, Nissan. It seemed pretty good. Uh, I mean, the only thing, I'd like to see it on a Honda. That's probably going to be the next one. I'll try to maybe get that on video, but I want to get something out there for you guys. My thoughts on this launch, 123E, for the price of it, it's a pretty decent scanner. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the, it's got nice features on there. You got, if you do hook it up to the Wi-Fi, you can do the quick Google searches on some of these codes. You guys seen it picked up the uh, trans control module on that Nissan, pulled up some codes that I didn't even know had was on there. Um, I did talk to the customer about it, but I mean, for what it is and uh, getting it done, I know they have other models other than this one. This was probably more of a basic one, but for the price, I got nothing bad to say about it. It seems like a decent scanner. Uh, you guys know I've reviewed a few of them, but uh, this one's definitely uh, definitely decent for the cost. But as always, links to it be down in the description. You guys want to check one out, grab one up for yourself. Um, I'll definitely be uh, checking this thing out, putting it through the ringer. Maybe we'll revisit it and uh, see what it's worth if I run into any issues. But so far, so good. I, you know, it's it seems like a decent scanner for a you know a mid-launch scanner. Definitely be using this around the shop more often.